Republica Fiorentia, 1433, a grand and beautiful city. Founded by Julius Caesar in 59 BCE, it quickly rose as the center of commerce. After the sacking of Rome in the 5th century, the Ostrogoths took over, marking the start of a new era. But Firenze was not ready for power yet. Under their rule, the city was under constant attack from the Byzantines, and the population dropped to below 1,000. Florence grew to a population of 80,000 in the 14th century, of which 25,000 were working in the wool industry. In 1378, a major revolt of the lower class led to the Woolcombers rising up and seizing the government of their city. Their progressive, radical democracy lasted for less than two months before the upper classes seized control once more, but the revolt so terrified the rich that it was still discussed in hushed tones a century later. The Albizzi family rose to power soon after. They held the Republic of Fiorenti in the palm of their hand. But there was one family that rivaled them, one family that had the capability to take the control. They were the Medici. Benissimo, ma Calcio, the painter of this holy trinity, is a true artist. In ten years, Florence will become a dominant artistic center. Ah, ah. No wonder I'm the ruler of Florence. I have banks in London, Naples, Clark, Lyon. Pencil, Alexander, <laughs> Brown, Antoine, Ludwig, Blanc. Hi, Medici. You're coming with us. Why? What have I done? It's not about what you've done. It's about what you're going to do. The Albizzi have been watching you. They're very unhappy. You can't do this. You have no authority. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> you foolish Medici. Godardo, you have no power over us. Fuck. I'll kill you first. Oh, really? Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> you can't do anything to us. This is the end of the Medici. You, your family, and everything that will come before you is no more. It was true, Cosimo de Medici had returned, and with his newfound freedom, he ushered in a new era of arts and beauty. I'm called this book the Theological Platonic. It was by immense intellectual influence on the art and life in Italy and beyond. Good job, Frederick Vicino. Good job. Keep planning our school. I want to spread the knowledge of Plato to everyone. But I wrote the book. Silencio! Staff of David's almost ready. Silencio! I don't care about you. I have tons of artists hired like Micheloso, Rapaolo Uccello. Do you understand? I was in a new age of artistic excellence. That being said, if you ever disobey me. But all good things come to an end, including Cosimo de' Medici. <laughs> Nature dictates all things must end, but I promise you, Father, that I will live up to your name. I stand in the very shoes of my very own Father Tell Giovanni. Had he been up in front of you, but he would be very proud of you. But as gone Falionari, I swear that I continue this great era of prosperity. Piero, what is the issue? I'm giving a speech. We don't have time to talk. Come with me. 
What is this about? Why are you? Your family's enemies are planning a coup. Beat the extraordinary Nidoroni and Akilo and them and one other. And who is this other? Pier Francesco de Medici. Mamma mia, my uncle Gino. I'm afraid so. That the soldiers do provided by the Duke of Reggio. What would you have to do? Survive. Turn the carriage around, please. Piero escaped betrayal, but soon faced war in Venice. The Duke of Milan offers the news of the Battaglia, Signor. And where is he? Just outside the door. Bien, mm -hmm. How's your health? Non bien, I am afraid. The Gata is getting worse. I am afraid. Mi dispiace, but I bring good news. A soldiers advance on the Venetian army at Colleoni. This war may soon be over. Molto bene. Good news at last. Salute, amico. Arrivederci. Things took a foul turn as Piero's health did not improve. I fear my time is up. This malattia, Polamari, is a long disease. You will be my hire, my son. Diabolo! Father, come back to me! Oh dear. <laughs> Everything isn't over yet, uh, Amico. You have to carry on your father's work. Has gone for Liari? I'm afraid not. Then how will I? The Medici name holds great power. You'll rule for ends, though not directly. <laughs> and so it came to pass. But a new dawn has approached. But some people opposed this new era. Some people wanted to get rid of it. Salviati, you have done as I requested? Have you forgotten salutations? Of course not. Buongiorno, amico. Buongiorno, Francesco. The Duke of Urbino has 600 men waiting outside for your command. Magnifico! Now all that remains is the deed. What deed? You do not know the deed that we have been planning for five years? I'll meet you in the Duomo then. You question my honor? Of course not. We just got you. That day, Lorenzo and his brother attended the Easter that would change their life. Some of that just will be the example tone of the whole world. All of my fame will rest in this tone. Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo will admire my work. Ficino has done me well. Patronize learning throughout my kingdom. What else? I'll rebuild the university of pizza. What are you doing here? Same reason everyone else is. Hi, Max. You first. Lorenzo watched as they killed his brother. Ah, ah, ah. 